Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I just want to give you guys a quick update of my PC building process. Um, I just want to thank everybody who came here and um, just left comments on my last video that I post. Um, today I just want to be showing you a quick update of the cases I got and the power supply and um, pretty much give you guys an overview of what I want to do in the future. And yeah, let's go. Let's start off with that. So basically, um, I purchased this NX NXT um five five ten case each five ten case um on July and I'm waiting for it to come in. I think it's gonna be a pretty good case. Um, I've seen a lot of good reviews about it on YouTube and yeah, I think this is a good, good case. It's pretty. It's, it's an ATX case. Um, it has pretty much everything I was looking for in a case wise like in regards to um like having um like mounted ssd plot on um, ports ssd ports mountain brackets yeah mountain brackets and I, I wanted that in my build and um, also tempered glass um it's a it's a pretty good case you guys can go check out some youtube videos about it but i'll, I'll be giving showing you an unboxing when i get the case that comes in I can't wait till it comes in. It's been taking a while for some reason. Um, like I said again from my previous video, like just because it's like because of the coronavirus and stuff that's going on, like a lot of my orders are like taking like a really long time to process, and I don't know why. It's kind of pretty odd, but um, yeah. Um, this 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 case, it's the best seller on Amazon. Um, it's only sixty nine dollars giggity and yeah it's, I think it's a pretty good case it's yeah it's a pretty good I'm not I'm not I'm no expert I'm a I'm a newbie I'm a new enthusiast um to computer building like the main reason why I want to build my computer is because um I really want to have the experience and I've been a lot of my cousins they play on um, on computers and I want to be their role model to um show them how to build a computer because you know, I like to show my wits, and um, I want this is something I'm really passionate about. And I really want to get into it. But I'm um, speaking of before I go into my um, the rest of the stuff that I bought. I had bought it on elect a grounded electric band. Let me um just pull it up because I'm not too familiarized with a lot of the words of the PC parts yet. But I'll get there soon. So basically, I had purchased this um anti-static risk bin to be grounded so when I'm working on the PC I can just keep myself safe and keep the computer part safe and whatever what not and the delivery guy he just left the I went to the grocery store and he just left the, the um package on my doorstep and next thing you know I guess I come back from the grocery store I see a little ticket that's uh, just a little ticket on the, the um on my, my door and I guess the, the damn package is gone and I'm just I'm pretty upset about that because you know this is my first PC build and I know it's not a big piece of equipment, but I did spend my money on it, and you know I just appreciate it to, like the people just wouldn't leave the packages on the front of the store. I, I said the front of the store, on the front of the door, because it's like you know it, it's just such a hassle to just like I I contacted the um Amazon or whatever to um like just to sort everything out, and they gave my money back, and I just I ordered another one. So whenever that comes, it's gonna come in whenever it comes I guess you um, know but yeah I was just pretty pretty upset about that 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 happened and I know it's not a, a big thing but you know people shouldn't be taking other people's things you know it's not right it's really not right and just a, I just couldn't imagine if it was like something like my motherboard or something like that that they could have took in because I would I would have just I don't know I would have been I would have been furious but um anyways let's go back to the rest of the pieces that I have that I have gotten so far from my build. Um, I picked up this from my last video I was telling you guys I couldn't find the um, Asus, um, the Thor at a reasonable price because they just kept just, like spiking up the price like one day it's it's two hundred dollars like three hundred then it's freaking four hundred and they rack it up literally to um, like four eight hundred dollars uh, on one day and I'm just like this is this is absolutely ridiculous and so I ended up settling with um, the Asus ROG Strix um, 750 fully modular power supply. Um, 
I think I think I did um pretty good when you had, um with like the power supply I chose, even though it's not the one I wanted. I mainly just wanted that other power supply because it, it it had the um the LEDs and the R RGB and it, that like what that was pretty sick if you ask me. But I think I'm probably like later on down in my build I'm probably gonna end up buying that power supply um to replace this one. But um that's just another can of worms that I'll work on in during the future when I'm probably more proficient and I I'm probably I'm probably I'll probably if I if I um most likely, because um, I'm planning on helping my cousin build their computer. Once I finish building mine, and I feel like I'm pretty adequate with um, like like knowledge-wise with like putting the computers together and like putting like knowing which slots the um the cables go in. Cause I think that um, my thing is, for I've been watching a lot of videos. I've been feeling like um, people when they build the computers that they don't really necessarily well from what I've seen, people they don't really show you what which which way to um like what, where to put the power like what which cords to put in um where like so what plugs in where like i i don't, I don't know i don't know if that's like something that other people are um like nervous about because like that's something i just been thinking about like that's like the main thing that's um i'm a little bit worried about but i'm not not too worried about because i have to i'll read the manual if anything um but build a computer just putting the what what pieces go into where you know it's like big boy legos but um, yeah. But during in the, in the future, I'll probably end up giving this to my cousin for his build, and yeah, it'll be just nice for him. So he wouldn't have just to save some money for him. I told him I was gonna help him like build it. I told him I was gonna help him with a five hundred dollar build. I'm like, dude, you don't even want to see how much my build is like starting to come up to. Cause for my first build, I know this is pretty expensive, and it's getting up to about twenty two thousand dollars almost or fifteen hundred eighteen hundred dollars but um yeah this is a power supply let me know if um if this is a good power supply I, I want you guys opinions um in the comment section just look if i'm on the right path if i'm buying like proper things or if i'm overpaying like it's pretty much the main thing i'm concerned about if i'm like overpaying or if i'm buying um stuff that i shouldn't be buying pretty much yeah so on to um the next thing and then we have um I ended up get, getting this um, IO, and I think because um, later on down in the future, I, my build's not gonna be like super like like I don't know how to describe what I'm gonna say, but um, it's not gonna like I don't feel like my build's gonna pull as much heat as it like at right now as it like put the components I'm gonna be putting into it. So I think like with this um, IO, I think I'll be pretty good for now because like in the future I plan on um, like upgrading, well not necessarily upgrading, I plan on adding more um, another um, M2 M MVME drive um, to my um, my build, and I plan on adding three um, three um, SSDs and probably I was thinking this is one of the um, questions I also had for you guys, um, but I'll get to that later. Um, about adding a NAS drive or a hard drive or a hard drive. I'll, I'll, I'll explain to that when I get to the, um, I'll show you later on the, um, but basically, yeah, I, I want to, I'm going to, I'm going to be, I have this one. It'll be coming in soon. And the one I want to upgrade to is the, um, let's see if I can find it up quick. Yeah, here it is. One second, guys. Pretty excited. Yeah, here it is. Um, hmm. All right, this, so they have a um a 241 uh, um, meters. Uh, I think it might like correct millimeters. Yeah, a 200 um 240 millimeter millimeter one, and they have the um 360. Um, but I wouldn't be. I'm not too sure which one I would, I would want to upgrade to, but I'll I'll do some research about it. But I'm pretty. I'm pretty um, positive that um, I want to stay with ASUS, like in brand wise, for um, like cooling and everything. But yeah, that's like this is like my plans for upgrades in the future. Later down the line. Yeah, let me know if um if I if I did good on this. I got it. I think I'm pretty sure I got this on a good price. I don't think I overpaid for this at all. 
Alright, let's go to the next thing. Is that, is that it? Yeah, I think that that's it. I think we're going to pretty much end this off. So, um, yeah, I got the case. And I got the, um, the power supply. And I got my I.O. And then, what I was going to get, what I, what I, um, for my last video, um, a gentleman told me about, um, he told me about, uh, a Corsair, um, memory. And I, he was telling me, and maybe I, I think he, I believe he told me that I should, um, get more memory so the, the one I had previously I had um not this one this is the one this is the memory sticker that I, I chose that um it had a little bit more memory and I was thinking like yeah maybe I should get more memory like um I'm a little confused about memory and storage maybe somebody wants to explain I'll probably look up my look it up myself but I'll, I'll be glad to read what somebody has to say in the comment section below about like what's the difference between the memory and like the storage I'm a little bit confused about that but um yeah I, I, I opted off to chose um this G, the G6 Trident um Neo and it has um 16 gigs total for two sticks and that's 30, um, 32 gigabytes and I wanted to um max out my um my RAM so I can just see all the RGB in there you um, know looking all pretty and yeah, I wanted to get this, and I wanted to let um, see if you guys like what you guys think about this um, in particular brand of RAM, and is it any good? Like, should I get this or should I opt for something else like Vengeance or course um, Corsair like, or another brand? Just any other brand, or just just let me know what you think about about this. I plan on, like I said in the future, I plan on getting two more sticks later on down the line when I when I get the funds in, but um. Yeah, I, this this is the new memory stick I um, I'm choosing off choosing for, but the one I, I had previously I believe it was the um which one is it? It was the eight gig, I believe. I probably have to go to my wish list. Well, it, the one I the one I chose before it was I, I believe it was eight gigs. I believe I believe something like that, but it was it was it was less than I I, I need a. I need to put it up. It's an OCD me. I'm OCD you know. Okay. If I can find it. Yeah, they, usually I'm, I'm I'm scrolling down because um usually like when you scroll down, it usually has like the other um listed ones in like like similar to this one. But I would have to go to like my um my list if I could find it. I had this trouble in the last video. I can never find my my wish list. Just shopping list. Look okay. at go there. All right. So yeah, this is this it was the the Trident, the G Stick Trident. So I had the Trident, and it was at 16 gigs. Um, from two times, yeah, two times eight gigs, and that's the one I was gonna choose. But I was like, you know what? Maybe I do need some more RAM. And I should get some. A higher quality RAM or to move go faster or whatever. Um, yeah, so I ended up opting to choose for this one. And then for my M2, it's the same thing. I'm gonna I'm going with the Samsung um, one terabyte M M2 drive. Is that yeah M2. But yeah, that's um pretty much it. So um when I get the funds together, I'll be picking up these bad boys oh and then if you had yeah if you didn't watch the other video um my graphic card that I'm gonna be choosing is the N NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super what a name but um yeah that's the one I'm gonna be choosing the other ones like um NVIDIA, NVIDIA line um of graphic cards those ones are pretty expensive uh people were telling me to, um 270 I want it, well, a 280, but those are some pretty expensive graphic cards, you know. I don't know, maybe I was thinking, like, maybe I should hold out on getting my graphic card now because I heard, like, they have a new one coming out, and I think it's, like, the 3380 or something like that. So maybe these other graphic cards will go down, but who knows because during coronavirus and stuff like that, um, the prices is getting pretty high with stuff that are, like, supposed to be relatively cheap like if we was to go to this um graphics card right now on amazon for instance it um 
it's like I believe it's like eight hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, I believe I believe it's like eight hundred dollars. Oh, oh yeah. Front, one last thing before we go. Um, the hard drive. This these are the two hard drives I was gonna get, and this is a um. I've seen a review on this. It's it's a NAS internal hard drive, and I wanted to know um, is this compatible? It, I, it, it, I, I, I put into a, a website before and it said it, it is compatible with um, well, um, my, my computer and my build, but um, it's it's a NAS drive. I know NAS drives are um, for like like servers or something like that, and I just wanted to know um, should I get this or should I just get multiple regular non-NAS internal hard drives? Um, that's like a big thing. Please let me know down below. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I probably didn't say my name in the beginning, but I'm, I'm Ansel, and yeah, thank you for watching.